Hello. Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. Today, I will show you how to create blinding plates. We are going to create bindings plate for two diagonal UPN bracing. They are between grid 1, B and grid 1, C. Notice that you must turn on the connection vault first. To make it easy, we are going to split the screen to two views. Then change the right one from left to isometric view. Now on the connection vault. Select plates at beam group, then select binding plate tool. Select bracing 1, and then press enter 2 times to finish the command. As you can see, a binding plate joint dialog box will be shown. and some binding plate attached on the UPN will be appear at the same time. On the binding plate dialog box, select layout tab, then choose inside option for arrangement. Then in the layout field we select, from the start, option and then in the preference we choose main system option. Then select variable option in the plates by field. First we are going to create binding plates for the upper end. From left upper gusset plate to the center gusset plate. After that we will copy these binding plates to the lower end. There are three binding plates on the upper part. so that we type 3 as number of plates.
switch back to 3D model to check the distance between the outer bolt column of the upper left gusset and outer bolt column of the center gusset. This distance 2360 divides by 4 equal 590. Now check the distance between left top end of the UPN to the center of the first binding plate. It is now 500. And check the distance between two binding plate. It is now 500. Now right click on binding plate and select advanced joint properties from context menu. Notice that the start distance is now 500, and intermediate distance is also 500. The designed intermediate distance is 590. and the distance between upper end of UPN and lower bolt column of the gusset is now 375. so that the design start distance must be 965. Now right click on binding plate and select advanced joint properties from the context menu. On binding plates joint dialog box, select layout tab. Then input 965 into start distance field. and then type 590 into intermediate distance. Now back to 3D model and check the start and intermediate distances again. Next we are going to adjust the binding plate thickness, and dimension, 
and choose the connection type between binding plate and UPN. Now right click on binding plate and select advanced joint properties from the context menu. On plate tab, type 12 as thickness. Select projection option for height layout, and then type 100 into width field. Switch to connection tab, select bolt option in the connection type field. Next we switch to connection parameter tab and type 2 as number of bolts per side. Then uncheck the bolts on gauge line option. Notice that the current intermediate distance is now 50. So input minus 25 into offset from center in order to make the bolt symmetry about center line. Back to 3D model and check the distance between two bolts, it must be 50 mm. You can adjust this distance, right click on the binding plate and select advanced joint properties dialog box. Go to connection parameters tab and type 65 into intermediate distance and then type minus 32.5 into offset from center. Now back to 3D model and check this distance again. Now we are going to use to create by template tool to copy these binding plates to lower end of the UPN bracing. Select create by template in advanced tool palette, then select the binding plate for the selection connection part. Finally select the UPN bracing for the main beam, and enter two times. Now we already have a copied the binding plates, but they are in the same positions with the old ones. Now right click on binding plate and select advanced joint properties from the context menu. We are going to adjust the position of the copied binding plate. In layout field select, from end, option. The blinding plate will automatically move to the lower end of UPN, it means that the first binding plate is located near the lower end. By the same procedure, 
we are going to use the create by template tool to copy the bling plate from the first UPN to the second and the third. Select create by template on the connection vault, then select the binding plate for selection connection part. And then select the second UPN beam and press enter two times to create the copied ones. Do the same procedure to create binding plates for the third UPN bracing. Then check the dimension from the outer bolt column of top the R right gusset to the outer bolt column of the center gusset. Then divide this distance 2224 by 4 equal 558.5. And check the distance between upper right end of the UPN bracing, the lower, bolts column, it is now 375. Now back to binding plates joint dialog box, select layout tab, then type 375 plus 558.5 equals 933.5 into 1, start distance field. Then input 558.5 into 2, intermediate distance. Now check these distances one again in 3D model. Do the same procedure for other binding plates.
Thank you for watching and see you soon.